Hi, I'm Mark. This is the official Smart Race YouTube channel. And this is the very first video in English. I'm very sorry about that. I was hoping to get it done earlier, but as always, many things on my list. Many, many very, very important things, of course. No, my list is empty. No, it's not. Okay, whatever. Uh, here we are. This is uh, the video about Smart Race 5.4 and 5.5, which are the two most recent versions of Smart Race. And my plan is to tell you something about what's going on, what has been added or what has been changed. And I hope you like it. I would really love to see your comments in the comment section below this video. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel, of course. Maybe there are some new English videos coming very soon. I'm Well, don't give up the hope, right? Maybe it's happening. So uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Let's go. Have fun. Okay, uh, so the very first thing that we want to take a look at is the, the card database, uh, which is in the main menu. Uh, you know this already, of course, but uh, the layout has changed a bit in uh, 5.4. Uh, and you have now several more possibilities in comparison to what was possible before. Uh, and uh, all the things happen here in this sidebar that you can expand by clicking on this icon on the top right. Um, you had the, the possibility to filter and uh, do more things before, but uh, this has been extended a bit, so uh, you can not only sort now by different attributes of the car, but you can also uh, filter by more attributes. So these are two of the changes. For example, uh, one thing that was requested quite often was uh, to be able to filter, uh, to see only cars which have uh, the maintenance coming up. Uh, so you can now expand this and uh, check for these cars. For me, there's no car that has this, um, the maintenance coming up. But uh, yeah, for you, this, this might be different. Uh, and you have another thing as well. You can now um, display more or less fields or the fields that you want to display. Uh, by default, you see the manufacturer and the scale. But you can also select more fields to show here, uh, like how many laps the car has driven and uh, things like that. Yeah, th this is probably more for the more advanced users of Smart Race. Um, but anyway, maybe you will find it useful. Another change which I find a bit more, um, well, attractive for maybe all of the users is uh, the change in the detail view of the car, which is also part of 5.4. Um, we now have, well, all the information on the same screen. Uh, as, a, as a reminder, before it was like uh, spread it throughout these um, tabs and now it's all on the same screen. You have uh, the header here with uh, some nice information, some statistics, uh, but you have also different sections below that. For example, the tuning settings where you can see the last settings uh, which have changed uh, for this car in Smart Race, of course, because uh, as you might know or as you are aware, uh, Smart Race doesn't know when you change the settings using the control unit directly, but only if you uh, do it in Smart Race. So you can apply it from here as well. If you have a connection to the control unit, you just click on this little check mark here and the setting will be sent to the control unit again. Doesn't work for me now because I don't have a connection, obviously, but yeah, I, I think you get it. Um, besides that, the track performance, which is basically the list of track records for this car, regardless of the driver although the driver is displayed, but uh, it's for the car and for the track, uh, the, the fastest time. Uh, you can delete the track records one by one or all of them right here. Uh, you have the car data and comment, which is basically what you uh, selected as attribute when editing the car. And you have the five latest results. Uh, you can see where the car won a race or qualifying, and you can hop right into this result and, and watch it. Um, yeah, and uh, since we are here, I can also show you uh, something new, which is also part of 5.4, which is the flyby sound. Well, actually, it's not really new. Uh, there were flyby sounds before, but uh, those were only like generic sounds, like those Windows sounds, right? Uh, like ping or something like this. So not really uh, something that you would expect a car, a noise that you would expect a car to make, unless it's an electric car, a car of course. So I guess it makes sense somehow. <laughs> okay, but um, now we have some real car sounds, uh, which are flyby sounds, which means that 
when you select the sound here, this sound will be played whenever the car crosses the start-finish line. And these are sounds like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, well, the list is not very long right now. Only a few cars have been added, but um, if I find that you like it and you maybe have suggestions for more sounds, please let me know and I will add them here. Yeah, and then uh, we have some new uh, widgets, basically two new widgets, uh, which are also both uh, part of 5.4. I will add them here. Uh, the first widget is the top list, which is basically something that you might know from, I don't know, car centers or something like this, where you can drive yourself. Uh, you will usually get a printout or it will be displayed on big monitors hanging around uh, the best time of today, this week, this month, this year and all time. Now it's all me, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it will populate, uh, of course, when you do more laps. And uh, maybe this is something which is interesting for people who uh, host races for the racing club or something like this. A bit of an incentive when you have your guests over, they will see, OK, uh, I can do the best time of today. So maybe that's a bit of a motivation. Another widget that was requested by some people um, was uh, kind of a minimalistic positions uh, widget um, which only shows the positions of each driver and the intervals which is the, the gap that you have to the person in front, right? I will just uh, simulate that for a, for a minute. Here we go, we have uh, all the positions and all the intervals being displayed. Um, by default, this shows the controller colors, which are the same as in the timetable, for example, that you can configure. But you can also uh, change it to use neutral colors, uh, which will then uh, make it a bit, bit less in your face, <laughs> maybe, and uh, only show the leader with a yellow color. Okay, uh, then we come to maybe the biggest change, uh, which is part of uh, Smart Race 5.5 and this is something that I personally really like uh, and uh, basically what I'm going to tell you is that you now are able to construct your own uh, race screens. Uh, for example, there was something that many people asked me, okay, well you have the widgets now which are nice but I would like to have different sets of widgets for races and for qualifying and for free practice and maybe for time trial, whatever. And uh, that was not possible, or maybe, yeah, you could, of course, uh, for each of these, configure your, your widgets um, every time, but that's not really something that you would like to do, right? So now we have profiles, which is basically that you can, I will show you, uh, when you pop up this little menu here, you have the default profile, which is active by default, as the name says, but you can now manage profiles. So that means I can just type in something here like, Race, for example, doesn't matter, so the name doesn't have any, any relevance. I can uh, pick a nice color. I can also set whether I want to auto-load uh, auto -load this profile, which basically means that uh, when you select, for example, for races, then this profile will be loaded automatically when you start a race. So you don't have to switch it manually, it does it for you. Uh, I could uh, pick a background image will, which will be automatically uh, loaded when you load the profile. So you could create something nice which says race, 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 whatever. <laughs> well, I'm going to save it. And now you have this new profile uh, selectable here in this little pop-up menu. And if I do that, you see the color that I've selected is visible on the top, uh, below the top bar which means that it's hopefully a bit more easy for you to recognize which profile is active right now, but that's only a visual gimmick, let's say. The more important thing is that you can now add your own widgets here. Uh, I will do that with a very simple example, for example, the, uh, the Quick Links widget. Um, and I save that. And now if I switch the profiles, I go back to the default profile, this widget is gone. Right? So it's only bound to this profile that I've added it to. And whenever I switch to this profile, this widget is being shown again. So this is true for all the widgets, of course. So you can put together your own race screen, uh, your own screen for free practice and qualifying, whatnot. And well, you can select whether you want to overload it or not. And then it will just do that. 
And well, I think that's a pretty cool feature, uh, which will enable you to play around with it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what you're going to create with that. And um, well, please let me know in the comments or by email or whatever, uh, what you think about that, what, if you have any suggestions, how to improve it even further. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, one more thing that you might have seen when I uh, created this widget here on the, on the bottom is that you now can configure the quick links widget actually. So uh, before in SmartRace 5.4 uh, it was that you could only add this quick links widget and would only also uh, it would uh, always contain the same set of links, right? Uh, the same set of buttons, which is a bit inconvenient when you, for example, only want to have the most important ones. So now you can do that. You can select which buttons you want to show. There are even some more like race or qualifying to uh, pop up the dialog pretty fast right from the racing screen. Uh, so you can just uh, end up selecting all of them and they will display. Uh, but you could also select a subset only and what you can also do is you can add uh, this widget several times if you want to do that. Uh, that wasn't be uh, possible before but now you can do that and you can uh, select of course uh, different sets of, um, of buttons for the different widgets uh, which can be pretty helpful if you for example want to have some buttons visible on the top right for example next to the timetable to uh, be able to quickly access them and other buttons only on the bottom where they are not in the way. Uh, so this might also be uh, helpful. Uh, some other thing that has been added as a part of 5.5 is actually that you can now add races to championships or qualifying to championships from the history directly. So before it was like you had to remember that whenever a race was finished you had to remember to press the add this race to championship uh, button. If you forgot that, then there was basically no, no chance to, to add this race later. Uh, now I have added this um, as a part of the history module. So you can see this new icon here, this little link icon. Uh, you can add, of course, qualifiers and races. Um, and if you do that, if you click this little icon, the dialog will pop up that you are used to from, from the race and screen. You can select your championship. Uh, only the championships which have open races are listed here. And if you do that and confirm, uh, the screen will open and since this was the last race of this championship, there was only one race missing. Uh, the result screen is displayed immediately. Uh, of course, that was already there before. You can uh, remove results from this championship. This is the same icon, but with, uh, well, it's a stroke through, right? Uh, well, you, you probably already knew that. Then there's another thing uh, which is not really new, but something that has been improved a bit uh, to be just more attractive and more useful. Uh, this is the result upload. Uh, you probably know that in the history or in the championship list of results. You can just uh, go into a race and you can choose to upload this race result or qualifying result to smartrace.de. Uh, this is meant for you to be able to, to uh, share it with your fellow racers or who don't have smartrace and if you don't want to create screenshots or something like this, you can just go ahead and upload it. And if you do that, you can uh, set your name, of course. And once it has been uploaded, you can view it and it will pop up this uh, rather beautiful <laughs> uh, overview of the race result. Of course, everything that you would expect, like the result, the laps overview, uh, the ticker, the statistics, and uh, which is new, some certificates. Uh, you can print those out, you can hand it out to, to your fellow racers. Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe this will be something that you you can use to um, to improve the experience of racing at your track. Okay, well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, as I said, uh, you can find all changes on the Smart Race website, uh, while this video only focused on the most important ones, maybe. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, I look forward to your comments or uh, critics on um, the comment section. Feel free. Uh, as always, you can also send me an email to info at smartrace.de uh, and I will uh, come back to you very soon. So, hope I see you guys next time. So far, bye-bye.